Ah, boy, you know, you got to love Digital Foundry. You just got to love them. You got to love them, man. You got to love them. They're not driven by fanboyism. They're not driven by money. They're not driven by this fanboy propaganda, period. No, they're not like that. They simply observe the hardware and review the hardware based on what they've got and based on what they have uh, have to go on and vice versa. So, they reviewed the, uh, they're pretty much going off of, you know, benchmarks and what we currently see on the Xbox One X. And uh, I got to tell you, man, Gamescom is not looking like anything is going to be in your favor for you Xbox fanboys who claim I'm biased. You see, I said at Gamescom, okay, for Gamescom, you guys better hope and pray to their 4K60 games because you guys claim these games aren't optimized, which is retarded. So, I gave you the benefit of the doubt, and I said Gamescom. Now that reality is setting in and more people are coming out and talking about this, it's just you're not getting what you're hyping up to get. You're not getting it. What's funny about that, even more funny about that, is the reality of the situation. You see, in this video, they say, can we expect true 4K? Now, I'm going to go ahead and say, yes, I knew you were going to get true 4K. However, you were not going to get what they originally promised. And uh, guys like me, and I'm glad this guy made this article, because the guys like me and dudes who actually paid attention, you know, and, just, and didn't just cover our ears at the, um, you know, as the years went on, but you're not getting the promise of native 4K60 on your games. You're not getting that promise. You're getting 4K, you're getting half the promise, but you're not getting the 4K60 promise. Why? Because the CPU is 100% trash. We already established that. The CPU is trash. The CPU is dog shit. The CPU is outdated. It is trash. It's nowhere near anything that can handle 60 frames per second. Now, you can get 1080p 60 frames per second. However, again, Microsoft doesn't see that. They want to push the 4K aspect over the 1080p 60 aspect, which should be pushed. You know what I'm saying? You're not getting that. Now, in this video, they talked about older games. They talked about, like, um, Quantum Break and Halo and how they would supposedly will look on the One X. But that's mostly in the visual department. We didn't get really much confirmation in terms of the CPU department. Why? Because we know it's not going to be 60 frames per second. However, it will be true 4K if they do get upgrades on the One X. Now, another thing fanboys were doing are running around Comparing this thing to the Pro, saying the Pro doesn't have more 4K games than the Xbox One X, and the Xbox One X is down third. The Xbox One X is not, okay? Now, I repeat this right now. The Xbox One X was never a 4K upscaler. It was a true 4K up. It was a true 4K machine that they were working on for years. Sony, they just immediately made an upscaler. To push the 4K market. Sony's not pushing 4K into the PlayStation 5. They're waiting until the install base is there. In terms of 4K d displays. Before they invest in it. Sad but true. Sad but true. So. <clears throat> I find this whole situation funny. I find it funny. I really do find it funny. But uh, all I know is. Again. The Gamescom is literally here. And uh, we're going to see. Obviously we're going to see. But uh, I just find it funny. You got to love Digital Foundry. Why? Because they're not biased and they keep it real. You got dudes already trying to call them frauds, which is ridiculous. So, it is what it is. It is what it is. Uh, overall, though, that's pretty much it. I got nothing else to say on the matter. I really don't. I can't really say much on the matter until, you know, the game's gone. So, that's it, though. That's pretty much it. Just keeping it real with you. Keeping it real with you. Keeping it real, man. Uh, you gotta love it, man. Gotta love it. Gotta love when uh, reality sets in and you get someone that tells you right to your face the same thing that you've been saying for months, you know? So with that being said, am I still a hater or has reality set in and you understand that uh, I'm not hating on anything? I'm just simply proving a, a point. Only time will tell. Only time will tell. Till then, I'll see you guys later. You guys be good. I'm out of here. Deuces.